old school day. We're checking out some of the best video games of all time, right? Right. Now, I got giveaways popping off, also popping off soon. MTV News, my video game block, Austin, on the way. It's part two today. And make sure you visit games.mtv.com to get the full Gamers Week experience. Now, most of us in here play video games for fun. My next guest do it for a living. Make some noise for Triforce and Nightmare. Triforce is good. High five, Nightmare. Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A, start. What does that mean? That's 30 men right there. 30 men right there. That's crazy. Now, Triforce, you are the CEO, emperor of gaming movement Empire Arcadia. Yep. Correct? And Nightmare, you are in the VOAs, Valkyries. Of Arcadia. Now you're the female version. Yes, I'm the female version. Of I can Arcadia. tell. I can tell. Let's see. Oh, really? Let's now, um, <laughs> now, now, for most people, gaming is like a hobby. How did you turn it into like a profession? Well, we decided to take it on um, from our um, underground roots mm -hmm. and decide to say, you know, what if we could bring gaming on a level like this to the world and then get all the people involved because, you know, gaming is an activity that everyone, you know, loves, yeah. but they don't want to really express it. So Empire Arcadia tries to work with the gamers directly mm -hmm. to try to, you know, correlate some type of, a, you know, huge organization which they can go under with and then bring it out to the world. We yeah. try to do that through like fashion, music, art, media competition hell crazy you have a whole movement <laughs> yeah that's why it's called the empire it's the empire baby now nightmare how, how what's the image of female gamers out there do you get well, abused let me ask you a question do i look like a female gamer honestly do you think of me as a female gamer when you see me i don't know this is a trick question <laughs> i don't know well, to be honest a lot of people would probably generalize female gaming as you know just a big fat girl that sits at home and oh, oh. That's not nice. But that's what they call me on Xbox it. Live. That's what they call uh, me. I can't help it. That's so true. I'm here to break the stereotype. Now, how many how many hours a day do you play video games? Oh no, I know you're gonna ask me this. <laughs> Basically, um, I get off work at like ten, and I don't go to bed until six in the morning. So that's eight hours a night. Eight hours of video games. Eight hours. What about you? That's different. I play when I want to play. Uh, <laughs> well, you're the well, you're the emperor. Yeah. I play when I'm the emperor, man. Now, what's the story with the gloves? Um, the guy who got me to gaming, he gave me the glove mm -hmm. as a reminder, you know, of where I come from as, um, you know, as a gamer. Mm -hmm. So I always wear it with me no matter what, um, where I go, mm -hmm. except for like non-video game like um, events. Right. As a reminder of the type of gamer I am, so that you know, I always stay focused with the task of what we gotta do at Empire Arcadia. Keep the movement moving. Wow, that's crazy right there. Now, Evolution Fighting Game Championships went down in August, mm -hmm. right? Top gamers from all over the world competed. How did M M Empire Arcadia do? Well, um, we had Justin Wong out there, we had Sanford Kelly, Ricky Ortiz, and we came home with $11,000 out of $80,000. What? Yeah. what? Oh, man. I gotta get into this, man. Gaming isn't just something you do, it's a way of life, man. We're gonna take a closer look at Triforce and Nightmare Empire Arcadia. Check this out. <laughs> We're the next phenomenon, straight up. Power Glove. He who wields this is the supreme being for gamers. I got this from my teacher who's first back into video games. He wears a glove to basically show where he comes from. And it's like that inspiration I always look down on and that keeps me spiritual. And all the trials tribulations that he ain't endured throughout the course of his life growing up. I witnessed people die right in front of me. People were shot five feet away from me. You've all seen some crazy things. People dying every day. I got involved in bare knuckle boxing. I got knocked out twice. Suffered uh, three cracked ribs. You can feel the danger on the block. I saw someone uh, lose their life because of it. It was not one day. Like, I grew up, I wasn't scared. It could have been me, you know? So I was like, you know something? I gotta get my life together. Shortly after that, I met Triforce. Yeah. One of the great things about gaming was it took me away from the problems of society. All the fantasies and fighting dragons and rescuing princesses and stuff like that. We all love video games, we all love the passion. We all work together and make sure that we can accomplish our goals as a team. But deep down inside, you know, especially for a lot of the founding players, it's a family. The video games, the medium was like, it brought us together as people. As gamers in the Empire, we've come a long way. That's crazy right there. 
Man, that's a look of uh, Empire Arcadia on Sucker Free on MTV Gamers Week 2.0 week. Now, old school game day. Hit up games.mtv.com to see the entire Empire Arcadia show. Now, I'm actually here with members of Empire Arcadia, Triforce and Nightmare. Yo, I didn't know, I didn't know gaming was so like, I feel inspired right now. I'm about to buy every game system there is. Well, um, gaming is, you know, the culture of gaming is much like hip hop. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really until hip hop. It's really when the industry gets, you know, involved in what we do as an actual culture, not a subculture. Yeah. Where they start to find out that, you know, it's more to it than, you know, the sum of its parts or what people advertise on TV. And you, you'll have a lot of gamers that, that are out there that are real great at games mm -hmm. that can turn into a profession. Yeah. We got two of our guys going to MLG later on this weekend because right. they made it to the finals. PC Chris and Wes representing wow. DA. With the rest of those guys out there, come on. So what's what's next for Empire Arcadia? What's the next? Our know, next movement? move. Well, our two things is you know um, Deadly Alliance at um you know MLG. That's why our guys at Compton, Dyer, Kubu, Ron, the rest of those guys out there. They're gonna compete there. We'll see how well they do out there. And then we have this huge um event. Uh, for, it's a game of parts, like a convention in January called Magfest mm -hmm. Music and Games Five. It's, it's a convention and a party for gamers where they can come out. We celebrate fashion and gaming because we have a fashion show there. Mm. We got like a rock concert where they remix video game music, that type of thing. So for gamers to come out and really enjoy themselves. That's crazy. So I hope you guys get out there. It's in Virginia and all that. I thought it was just kids at home playing video games. This is a whole nother world. It's a whole nother man, world. Well, congratulations to your success, man. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. The glove is hot. High five. High five, y'all. Yeah. Man, that's right, man. Now, we're going to send you into the Players' Lounge to show our fans how to step their game up. Stakes are real high right now. Some of the players, they're competing for a Dell XPS laptop. Two big Jay-Z announcements. Number one, he's not in the top spot. And I got another update that I'm going to give you even bigger than that. But hang on till after the video. Here's your number two request. Jay-Z, show me what...